Hello, Sarah's Gang. I hope you all are doing beautiful today. My name is Monty. So, I will be helping right into your energy. I want you all to take what you need to go to the heart. If anything does resonate with you, hit that like button, comment, subscribe to the channel. Spot world is needed. Also, Sash Gang, thank you, thank you, thank you for the love, likes, comments. Thank you for the support. Thank y'all for everything that I do to help the channel grow. I really love and appreciate you all. All right, Sash. So, I'm going to do one more shuffle. And I'm going to hop into your energy. Energy for Sagittarius, please. Okay. So, I feel like... Someone is kind of like praying that you release this hold that you have. I'm telling you, this Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, possible Leo. They're praying to God. Like, they're, you got them praying to God right now. Like, they just like, oh my God, well, please God, let Sad release this hold. Let us be back together again. <laughs> What's the energy? Yes, I'm telling you, someone really wants to be with you. Someone wants to be in the connection, but there could be a lot of smoke going on right now. Like, you guys are both being guided, right? Um, maybe you're being guided on a different path, or maybe, you know, they're being guided to be with you. But they are praying that you release this hold that you have of maybe, like, being strong or being silent or they're trying to get some they're trying to get these messages i'm telling you they they're praying here they want to be with you here they have a lot of passion for you um maybe this is someone you're married to i'm telling you this person is praying to god <laughs> They are praying to God that you take them back or that you be with them. Maybe with the swords. That could have been like some sort of communication. Sad. I'm t I cannot make this up. <laughs> so that could have been some sort of communication that caused you to really hold back from this person. Right? Um, this person wants to talk to you. They feel like you have secrets. They fear that it's over. They have been depressed. Um, this person could live in another city, state, town, or country, or they could just live on another side of town, right? But they have to travel to see you, and right now you are blocking them from traveling to see you. They want to travel to see you, okay? I've been picking that up um, to know what you have going on. Like, they want to talk to you, okay? Um, what's this king of... Mars is King of Pentacles. Right? Okay, so some of y'all are moving on to something else. Maybe a new connection. Maybe something committed. Some of you all could even be boss, business owners, supervisors, leaders, right? Uh, but you are releasing yourself from this person. So this person did something to you that you didn't like. Like, you really released this person. They could have been dealing with someone. Maybe like a baby mama, a baby father. Uh, they could have chose someone before you. They could have chose a karmic energy. But this, maybe they could have been very aggressive or demanding with their communication. Um, maybe they was holding back a child here. Maybe there could have been secrets in regards to a child. Okay, but they they ready to come towards you now. This could be someone older than you, or you could be younger than this person. This person is so unhappy. They're they're sad. They're miserable. They want to approach you. Like, this person is so sad, but I feel like you're getting the messages that this is the devil. You're getting, you're he, like I said, for both of you all, y'all both getting messages, right? But this person is praying to God that you will step them back. But they could be toxic. They can have some sort of obsession with you. They could be obsessed with watching you. Uh, they they want to keep you in this toxic connection, right? But you're getting these messages that you need to move forward to something more high vibrational, right? And you are releasing this person. And they are extremely heartbroken here. Maybe this was, like I said, someone you were married to or someone you had a long-term commitment with. Someone you had a child from here. Okay. Um, 
what's this interest? Okay. So, yeah, they want to reach out to you, Empress, okay? Uh, you're avoiding them. Maybe you're, you're stopping them from coming to your home or something. Maybe this person has their emotions extremely rocky all the time. You're just making a decision to move forward here. You're not talking to this person. Maybe you feel like they're very manipulative or they're very fickle with their love or their money or whatever they're trying to offer you to get you back. Um, I feel like you're just ready for something new. You want to know what the new is going to bring in for you. I'm telling you. And you are very determined towards this new love. Like, whatever it is from your past with this person, it's just not working out. This could be a king of pentacles, towards Virgo or Capricorn, or Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, like I said, maybe someone put their baby mama or their baby daddy over you. Uh, this person wants to come towards you. They want to come towards you with some sort of bag and some flowers or something. Okay? Because they are feeling left out in the cold. Some of these people... Some of these people are low on finances. Whoever they chose. They could even chose like a mother energy. The older woman here. Okay? Uh, someone has bad health. Someone is on crutches. Okay, uh, they're finding out a lot when it comes to their mother or this karmic, right? They want to be with you. They want to they wanna pack up their stuff. They want to bring their dog. They want to come to you. Okay, but I feel like they're being patient right now. They're trying to they're tell you this person is praying to God to get you back. But I feel like you feel as though it would be just something temporary, right? Just to fix the problem and then it's back to their old ways, so... I feel like you're really kind of standing on business right now. Like you got a grip of like your emotions or something. And I feel like you're ready to just take this leap of faith because whoever this person is just doesn't make you happy. Okay, this person just don't make you happy, Sarah. Really, they want some sort of they want your forgiveness. They want to apologize for whatever they've done to you or however they made you feel. Uh they want to reunite with you, right? But you're making a decision to move towards something more stable, uh, something new, something better, right? You're wanting to move towards your wish fulfillment because things with this person was very rocky. Here, okay, you were trying to form some sort of solid foundation, divine feminine, with this person, but they could have been closed off or guarded because they were choosing a mother of of baby father or baby mother over you, right? Uh, so now you are focused on your wish fulfillment. Some of you all are going to be traveling like from somewhere rainy to like the beach side or you're just going to be doing some travel, right? This person is wanting to reunite with you, but they also are tempted to travel towards you too. They have been watching you. They feel like you're being very deceptive. I feel like now that you are making a decision to move forward towards what really makes you happy this person is taking off the mask they're saying that they were wearing a facade they're seeing the truth about everyone around them right they're seeing the truth even about their own deceptions or how they were closed off or how they could have made the connection rocky and they're having a tower they could even be having a tower in the home with whoever it is that they chose this master and assembling this mother this father right but i feel like you're guarded right now okay you're extremely guarded they do want to reach out to you they could remember how you were vulnerable with them how you love them but they cause all this disharmony like i said they could be some sort of conflict going on in the home maybe they're gonna have to leave a home or something here all right maybe um they're realizing that whatever they were pouring their self whatever they were pouring into it was like nothing it was not something that was pouring into them or maybe this person was stuck in their past or something right um maybe they're realizing that they weren't pouring into you that they weren't showing you compassion that they weren't nurturing that they were always triggered that they were always causing this harmony or conflict right so now they want to reach out to you right they are waking into the energy that they've been in they they're wanting to do some sort of shadow work here they want to reach out to you like, you're extremely high vibrational. They want to offer you some sort of love offer, but you can have an offer of love coming in somewhere else. Um, 
some sort of wood for film or coming up for so. Okay, you could be someone extremely like you could be a therapist or a physical therapist, mental therapist, a spiritual spiritual therapist, right? But I feel like you are focused on your abundance, your gifts, whether that's a spiritual gift. Uh, whether that's, you know, a God-given gift, you are focused on that. You are trying to celebrate with your new life, your new love, your new journey. Uh, this person wounded you here, okay? With their tactics, maybe trying to control you. Maybe they were being controlled by someone, right? But they definitely want to rebirth this even Maybe you don't want to call so much. Yeah, but see, you're moving forward. You got this courage here to move on, to move forward. Uh, some of you all were depressed when you made this move, but that depression is going to change once you Some of you all are therapists. You can hear yourself others of you all you need to go to the therapist You need to listen to the therapist. You need to speak with the therapist Okay, but uh, yeah, they're thinking about you Sag. This could be another Leo Sag or Aries here. All right. They're definitely in their head about you uh, They they're isolating themselves from these people that they were around these people that they were pouring into that were not pouring into them because I feel like you were the one that was pouring into them while they were around these other people. So they was, it's kind of like they didn't really, I wouldn't say they really didn't see what you were doing, but it's kind of like they were still choosing others. But once you exited your energy out and you stopped pouring into them, no one else is pouring into them and they're seeing that now. Okay. But if anything resonates, hit that like button, comment, subscribe to the channel so I roll it needed. And until next time, Sash, bye.